All right, it's going to be median nerve neural dynamics. So, number one message is order matters. There's not a right order, but order does matter. So, if you're going to be retesting, do it in the same way. And if you don't get a response, change up the order, see what you get. So, we block the scapula. I don't depress but I block so that way it's not coming up. So that way I just, I bring it down. I don't want it up, but I'm not trying to stretch it more. So just bring it down just a little bit. Then I block, I just put my fist there. And I'm gonna come up here to 90 degrees of abduction. I wanna get rotation there. Now I add in the wrist and then I start to extend to see where they can get to. Then I want to do without extension of the wrist to see if they go further to make sure that it wasn't them just guarding. Make sure I have that elbow extension so that way if it stops there that I can go further without the wrist extended then I know that the change is neural or most likely neural. We do get some, because there's also all the muscles that cross the wrist and the elbow, all the wrist flexors. Make sure you're getting the thumb in there. You can also, because sometimes people don't have that shoulder external rotation, they can come externally rotate as much as they can here, extend the elbow, extend the hand, and then I can come up like this. Extend the wrist and come up like this. I can come up higher that way. It's probably because I don't have as much external rotation right there. If I have more external rotation, and I'm also not blocking the shoulder like that. I could come in here, but then I have to make sure I don't lose the elbow extension. I can try to block with this other arm. You can get somebody else to help you. Or you can just finagle it a little bit. You could also come in here, keep that elbow extension, and then come out like this. This one I can come up here. I just don't have as much wrist extension as I do when I'm up here. Without any median nerve tension, you want to see how much wrist extension you can get with elbow extension. And I can go measure those and be real precise, but generally, I'm just gonna come up here and I wanna know if it's only a few degrees off, it's probably not a major impairment right there. I also want to know if head motions change it. I don't just tell them to move their own head. I move it that way and then I redo it. See where we get to. This seem to go a little bit further with him. And then I'm going to move it the other way. And you want to make sure that they're flat or neutral. It doesn't go as far. So typically that's the way it works. Not always.